Have you ever dealt with a yeast infection that just kept coming back again and again? You're not alone. Chronic vaginal yeast infections affect millions of women worldwide, often disrupting their lives with discomfort, embarrassment, and frustration. But here's the truth. If antifungal medications haven't given you lasting relief, it's because they're not getting to the root cause. Hi there. I'm Dr. Springer, author of The Gut Connection, and welcome to our channel where we explore all things gut, because that is where lasting health begins. Today, we're diving deep into the real story behind chronic yeast infections and why the conventional approach may be missing the mark. Let's start with the basics. A vaginal yeast infection, most commonly caused by candida albicans, is something up to 80% of women will experience at least once in their lives. But for some, it becomes a chronic condition, defined as four or more episodes per year. According to a major report in the Lancet Infectious Diseases, over 9 million women in the U.S. alone suffer from recurrent yeast infections. Symptoms can include intense vaginal itching or soreness, thick white cottage cheese-like discharge, burning sensation, especially during urination, discomfort or pain during intercourse. If you've ever had one, you know words barely do it justice. Conventional medicine tells us that yeast infections are caused by an imbalance in the vaginal microbiome. When healthy bacteria are depleted by antibiotics, hormonal changes, or even douching, candida can overgrow. Doctors may also cite hormonal shifts, diabetes or immune suppression, or hereditary factors. Just for the record, yeast infections are not inherited, but the root cause may be acquired at birth. More on that later. Most conventional treatments rely on antifungal medications like fluconazole or topical agents. In some cases, doctors prescribe maintenance doses for six months or more. You might also be told to shower daily, wear loose cotton underwear, or avoid bubble baths and scented soaps. These tips can help, but for many women, they don't stop the infections from coming back. Here's what you may hear instead. Maybe your last infection never fully cleared up. It's probably a drug-resistant strain. It might not even be a yeast infection. But none of these really explain why the same problem keeps resurfacing, especially when you followed every recommendation and still find yourself stuck in the cycle. Here's the truth. The real reason behind chronic yeast infections goes much deeper than moisture, antibiotics, or hygiene. And the solution doesn't start in your medicine cabinet. It starts in your gut. In the next video, we'll explore bacterial vaginosis, BV, and recurrent UTIs, and the surprising way all three conditions are linked by one root cause that most doctors completely overlook. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss the next part of this important series. And if you've dealt with chronic yeast infections yourself, let me know in the comments what worked, what didn't. Together, we're going to uncover the gut connection and help you break the cycle once and for all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in part two.